Greetings, this is Daniel Tal from Placemaker. And with Placemaker version 2 released, I want to review the near map super high resolution aerials. And you can see these examples in the screen in front of you. On the right hand side are the aerials that import natively with SketchUp's location tool. And on the left is the super high resolution version that near map allows you to import. I'm going to go over some of the options with near map and how they work in terms of credits and resolution for this next part. I'm going to review the near map aerial credits which you have to purchase to access the near map aerials within Placemaker. So it's an in-app purchase to access the near map aerials. And then I want to go over, we have different resolution settings for near map that allows you to bring in from low, medium, high, and then max. So we're going to go over each of these options next. Using the SketchUp location tool, which you can see right here, I imported an aerial of a portion of downtown Austin, Texas. Here's the placemaker menu or the window and I'm gonna open up the dialog and I want to import in a higher res image and I want to do some comparisons between all the different imagery options we have available here. So if I to the right of imagery there's an arrow and I can expand that and the source says digital globe so we're gonna go ahead and select the aerial click on imagery and this will allow me to import in a digital globe high resolution aerial you know, it was purchase more credits, and I'm just gonna, it tells me how many credits I'm gonna use for this area, and I'm gonna click download, and it's gonna start the process of importing in that aerial. So the digital globe import is complete, and keep in mind when you purchase Placemaker, it comes with a certain number of credits for you to use with digital globe automatically. You can see the resolution is a lot crisper than what we had with just the native SketchUp option. Now I'm gonna use the near map option. So I'm gonna to go to the pull down menu, I'm gonna click on near map, and I'm gonna select the aerial, and there's a zoom option here. So maximum high, medium low, I'm gonna go over those next, but we're just gonna keep it on to the max resolution for right now. I'm gonna click on imagery, and it's gonna be, here's the near map credit system. Now. When you purchase Placemaker, it does not come with any credits that are ready to be used for near map. These have to be purchased separately. If you click on the purchase credit options, it will bring you to a website. And you can see currently we're offering 250 near map credits for just under $90. And you can just fill this out and then once you purchase it, you'll have a certain number of credits available to use. So now that I have my near map credits and I have it all set I'm gonna click on download and it's gonna to start to bring in the higher resolution um, the th up to three inches in this case of near map aerial so the near map import is complete and you can tell as I zoom in here the level of resolution that you can get all the way down to pavement striping intersections building footprints whatever it might be. So the high resolution aerials are really sharp within SketchUp. And again, it doesn't come with Placemaker, but when you click on the source imagery here, this will bring up the near map credits. And again, you have to set source to near map, and then you can go purchase credits, and you can go download these aerials directly into your model for your location. Um, there is a separate video tutorial on the coverage location and some of the comparisons between the SketchUp and Digital Globe and Near Map coverages. And I'm going to go over resolution in this next section here. I have another model here, and I want to show the comparison between the different types of aerials that you can bring into SketchUp. And in order to really get a sense of the different types of resolution, I'm going to zoom in really close here. So we're looking at this area. Now, on my scene tab, I'm on the SketchUp location tool. So this is the type of aerial that SketchUp will import into, into the model space. And you can see the quality of the resolution. And as I mentioned before, when you click on the imagery options, especially for near map, 
you have high, medium, and low. You also have it available for Digital Globe, which for Digital Globe, I usually use the max setting all the time. And I've arranged the order in which we're going to view these in, in terms of their quality. So if we use the near map low resolution setting, well, you could see that's a big difference between the SketchUp to near map, where you can actually see some definition to this location on this plaza. And that's near map low. Next, I'm going to go to the near map mid-level resolution. And again, I'm going to go back and forth between the two. And you can see now we're definitely getting another level of quality between these different types of options. Then there's the placemaker uh, digital globe imagery. So I'm going to click on that one. And it's around the same level as the near map mid-resolution images, which is not bad. But once we get to near map high resolution, now we're getting to the point where we have some super refined aerials in here. And last, the near map maximum resolution, and I'll zoom in even more, gives you some very high quality aerials here. So that's near map high, that's digital gold with placemaker, near map mid resolution, near map low resolution, and here's the SketchUp resolution. And I'm going to go from SketchUp resolution all the way to the near map max resolution just to show the quality difference and how this works. Now there's a reason to learn why the resolutions are important. So when SketchUp imports in all these aerials, including the SketchUp, uh, the digital globe, or near map, it's using a tile system. So for example, the SketchUp Aerial is just one big tile. Well, if I jump to the placemaker imagery, you could see it's composed of one, two, three, four, a four by four grid of tiles that make up this resolution. I'm going to turn off the aerial again and I'm going to go to near map high. And now you can see that the near map high resolution is composed of a lot more tiles. And this is where the resolution comes from. These are smaller tiles that are higher resolution that are imported into SketchUp. So the, mat, the near map max resolution really brings in a lot of tiles to make the image that we're trying to see. Now this is important so when you're actually importing in tiles, so for example, for near map, if I set it to, let's say, a low resolution to import the imagery, Near map is going to say, well, it's going to cost you four credits or four tiles are going to be used to import in the near map lowest resolution. If I set near map to the maximum resolution and do that again, now it's saying it's going to require 86 credits for actually to use. So the reason why, because you get a certain number of credits, you want to maximize what you're doing for. And our recommendation is for the areas you need to focus really tight on, that's when you use the highest resolution quality versus some of the larger areas. You know, you can you near map high resolution, for example, versus max resolution versus even the mid-level resolution. From this distance, you really can't see much of a difference within this model. But when the closer you get to the aerial, obviously you want a much tighter resolution to work with. So that's how the near map credit system works and the quality of resolution that it provides. Thanks for watching the video on the near map credits and resolution. There's another near map video that also explains some of the resolution quality and also our general placemaker to version update video. So please check them out. I hope you enjoy placemaker and let us know what you think. Thank you very much.